My name is Anna Nalepka. I'm originally from New Jersey. I moved down here to Eastern North Carolina in 1995 with my family. I am the mom of four beautiful children, three here on earth and one angel in heaven. I am a part-time actress and I am the director of a documentary called Broken But Still Here, A Journey Through Child Loss and Beyond and it is based on my experience with the loss of my daughter. The inspiration to do the documentary came from the tragedy of losing my daughter on July 12th of 2016. I lost my only daughter, Stephanie, to stage four breast cancer and my life completely changed. And the reason for doing this film is because this is the only way that I know to give back. Um, I want to empower other bereaved parents. I want to chronicle my own journey as well as give parents a voice um, to let them know that it's okay to still speak about their child, not to be shamed into hiding their feelings or grief shamed, if you will. Um, there's so many parents, you know, going through this. One, I think this is the statistic is one every 15 seconds is a parent losing a child, whether it's to sickness, whether it's to crime, whether it's to suicide, or whatever the case may be. And parents need to know that they became a parent when they first heard that heartbeat. And it doesn't stop when that heartbeat stops. You will always be a parent. And it's just a way of dealing with it and continuing on with our lives. What I hope to accomplish with this documentary is basically to give a voice to bereaved parents to, to bring awareness to what we're going through and also hopefully to help further relationships. You know, grief affects not only the parent that's left behind, but their relationship with their spouse their relationship with friends, with family, with the surviving siblings. Um, it affects generations. And you don't know that at the time. It's something that slowly creeps in. And also to educate the public for the people that are blessed enough not to have gone through this. Um, things to say and things not to say to a bereaved parent. Um, also to the therapists, there, there are so many therapists that go into this with great intentions, learning from books, learning from what they're educated, but they don't truly know because you haven't walked in their parents' shoes. Just like uh, someone who went through PTSD, a, a veteran, you can empathize, but you don't really know. And I'm hoping that this can just shed light on it and I want to empower other parents. You know, we felt empowered when we had a baby. You know, we, we, were, we were proud of their accomplishments. You know, little Jimmy, what they did at soccer or a test or whatever. And we lose all sense of empowerment when we lose that child. And I'm hoping through my own journey to empower other parents again, to, to let them know that yes, physically that child's no longer here but their legacy is still here. And that's what we are here for. That is what we signed up for, is to be a parent, good, bad, or indifferent. And we still have to let people know that our child existed, whether it's through starting a fund, or whether it's starting a scholarship, or whether it's just painting a picture, or whether it's just talking about your child, or whether it's just doing a film. I would love to be able to get support from the community um, in any way. I know that there are a lot of bereaved parents out there, parents who don't know how to speak to someone else about what they went through. Um, if you want to contact me through our Facebook page, it is Broken But Still Here. 
a journey through child loss and beyond. Uh, we have the Facebook fan page, also church groups. Um, I know that there are several grief groups in Pitt County. Um, I would love to come and be able to speak at these engagements, um, to speak to the parents firsthand about my journey, where I'm at, and anyone that I can help um, in regards to influencers, anybody who would love to donate towards the film. Again, please contact me through the Facebook page, and I'll be more than happy to speak to you about that. Basically, the film is going to be to help people. My goal and the promise that I made to my daughter is that I'm going to take what happened to her and turn it into a blessing to someone else. And there's going to be someone in that audience, someone that this film is going to touch. Or if there's someone that you haven't spoken to in a while because you've lost contact with them, because you didn't know how to talk to them after this happened. Let them see this film. Um, also, we are starting something at the end of the film. There's going to be credits because basically, again, this film is for all of our angels that have passed. And if you'd like to have your child's name mentioned at the end of the film, please contact me again through the Facebook page at this point, And I'll be more than happy to let you know how you can do that. And um, God bless you. Thank you. The only other thing that I want to tell people is I myself am on my own journey. Uh, July 12th will be three years that my daughter physically left. Um, I don't have all the answers. Nobody does. I can tell you where I'm at. I feel more empowered now by my daughter than when she was physically here. I feel, me personally, she's stronger in spirit than when she was here in her body and she was sick. I can feel my daughter telling me now it's okay to go after my dreams. Before this happened, I had dreams and aspirations of being an actress and I started you know, getting along with that and I completely stopped that. Um, I never thought in a million years I would ever want to have the confidence to or that it was okay to even think of going after my dreams now. I want to tell parents, the ones that are, have put aside their dreams, whether it was painting, whether it was crocheting, whether it, whatever you were put on this earth to do, not the job you have to pay bills. That is what we're meant to do. And for whatever reason this happened to us, if there's some way to, to turn your dream into a way of paying homage to your child, then do it. Don't let the tragedy become shackles around your hands. Wear your tragedy as an armor, as an armor of, of love for your child and that you will go on for one reason only that only reason is because your child lived <laughs>